AFM Videos, the leader in football education. Hello, I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm the head football coach at Pulaski Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas. This is the second in a series of five DVDs on Bruin football. In this DVD, we're going to present the spread passing game, specifically the vertical passing game. But, um, you know, that's the title on the box. It's going to be vertical passing game. But we're going to incorporate all the things that help the vertical passing game, like the run game and the horizontal passing game. And then we're going to show you the benefits that the vertical passing game has on the rest of your offense in your run game. So kind of it all, it all works together. In our vertical passing game, we do it. We do it in a, in a lot of different ways. We're not one that's going to bring it in tight and run guy one guy deep very often. We're going to go four wide and five wide for the majority of the time. And I'm just going to show you some of our four and five wide. It's a two by two set, three by one set. Uh, here's our two by two set. You can see, and as you'll see, I'll show you a couple of different uh, photos of of our sets and. And notice we'll do different things with different spacings of receivers. There they're spaced out pretty good. And our receivers, we teach them the concepts of what we're trying to do in the play. And they'll adjust accordingly. And you would think you could find tendencies off doing that. You really can't because of the variety of things we do. Um, the release of the receivers against man, even more important than against zone. And some of the things we talk about. Uh, we tell our guys there's two ways you can beat that coverage. Uh, one is we want you to, uh, if, if you're running an outside route, you know, we want you to get an outside release. We'll jab and use the hands and get outside, but you have to get vertical. You have to get up the football field. I would mentioned earlier using defenders' hips and shoulders versus timing routes. We don't throw timing routes. I've just never been big on it. We On our out routes, and we'll run a that same combo I showed you a while ago, he's going to run the smash route. He's going to run the out route. And it's his job to get outside him. And it's his job just to run his out route and make sure he's got good spacing. Uh, but this guy knows I've got to run my smash route at least 17 yards deep because he may be running 8 yards, he may be running 12 yards. And uh, so we don't run any timing routes as far as outside stuff. He's going to push, get outside. He's out, he sees his guy bail. He's going to turn it out a little bit earlier. And so, boom, corner came up, so we're vertically spacing him. Corner comes up, he gets outside the safety, which is his job. Corner comes up, we're throwing it to him. Corner backs off, we're throwing it to him. I throw it to the underneath guy. Boom, there he is. Safety backs off. And again, easy throw and catch. Uh, stretch defenders, vertical spacing. Um, we were in a play called Hammer. And uh, we'd ran it while I go against uh, the, the other team that was in red. And, and what we're trying to do is vertically space this guy right here. We run him on the short post. We run him on the post behind. Quarterback makes a read right there. He knows his job is to get underneath and inside, but back over the top of these linebackers. Here's another case of bringing into play. The, uh, his job is to take care of these two guys, and the quarterback's job is to take care of this guy. And as he does that, the quarterback bails. If he bails, the read isn't going to be this post. It's going to be this guy. So now he's got to get a line of sight from him. He's got to get, a bit, get behind him or get underneath him. But he's got to get there. He notices he stops. He comes inside. Easy catch and throw right there. 